Hi, welcome to the second part of uh, my tutorial. Uh, my name is Roger Hisha, and in the second part, the second video, I'll present a detailed uh, mathematical derivation of the Lucas Canati framework. So, in the previous video, we saw a brief introduction to the visual tracking problem, and in the second video, uh, we'll talk more uh, about direct visual tracking, and we'll give a detailed derivation of the Lucas Canati uh, framework. So as, as we discussed in part one, direct visual tracking can be formulated as a problem finding the parameters of uh, a transformation model, which uh, maps the reference image of uh, the target object onto its current image, such that the similarity between the two is maximized. And uh, we saw that this type of tracking method can be characterized by four major components. The appearance and motion models, um, the similarity measure that defines the similarity between the images and the search strategy. So again, an appearance model can be uh, either uh, an, a histogram or a template that represents a target object. The motion model can be um, either rigid or deformable depending on the complexity of the uh, object's shape. Uh, several similarity uh, functions can be used to define the similarity between the reference and uh, and current images. And finally, the search strategy is a strategy to find the parameters of the motion model, which maximizes the, the image similarity. So for instance, um, let's assume that uh, the, my target object here in this example is this plush toy. I can choose to represent it um, as a grayscale image. And assuming that it only moves in the horizontal and vertical directions, we can track its motion using a translational model. And to find the parameters of this tra translational model, we can exhaustively search the, uh, the image, the current image, to find the parameters which maximizes, for instance, the sum of uh, square differences between the reference and current images. So these four elements, grayscale uh, intensity appearance model, uh, the translation model, and the sum of square differences and the exhaustive uh, searching characterize my tracking method. And um, in practice, uh, we assume that um, the position of the object at the origin is known, either by manual or automatic detection. And um, we, we also assume that the position, that we know the position of the tracked object in the previous frame. So this helps uh, reduce the computational burden involved in the search of the new transformation parameters. Okay, so we also saw uh, that um, if we choose a similarity function that is uh, smooth and differentiable, we can use gradient-based techniques to find the optimal parameters, the optimal transformation parameters P. And this is the case for the uh, sum of square differences, for instance. So the sum of square differences, or just simply SSD, shows this um, smooth and uh, convex shape, usually shows this, uh, these properties around the uh, optimal place of alignment. So for instance, uh, let's uh, look at the, the example here on the bottom. Uh, let's assume that we initialize tracking at a given uh, frame with the previous transformation parameters. Uh, so the transformation parameters P at T minus one. And we're looking for the uh, optimal parameters P at time T. So the similarity score for P at T minus one is shown here on the, on the curve. So notice that the similarity slowly uh, decreases um, until it gradually finds the uh, lowest point here, which corresponds, uh, which hopefully corresponds to the uh, best match on the uh, current image. So notice here that I'm talking about a, a decrease in the SSD score, but since the SSD score is a measure of uh, the similarity, it means an increase in, uh, in similarity. The fact that we can surf the gradient of the cost function is extremely helpful, uh, especially when tracking with transformation models with uh, multiple degrees of freedom. And we can achieve subpixel accuracy with very little computational effort compared to particle filtering or exhaustive searching. But uh, is the SSD the only uh, uh, suitable similarity function? Well, not really. There have been uh, several uh, alternatives uh, proposing the literature, and it shows uh, different properties, uh, 
such as invariance, invariance to elimination variations. But this will be the subject of uh, the future video. So let's now learn how to compute the SSD between uh, two images. And then let's learn how to differentiate uh, the similarity function to serve the gradient and uh, do visual tracking. But first, let's start with the preliminaries. So I'll call the reference image of my target object t, function of pixel positions x. So x is a vector containing the uh, horizontal and vertical uh, pixel positions, u and d, according to the uh, a coordinate frame, which is indicated here by the red arrows. Um, so this uh, this means that the image is a function of uh, pixel positions, and um, for every uh, pixel we have an associated uh, intensity. And um, for a colored image, we have to include another uh, dimension, which is the color channel. But to compute the similarity between um, the reference and the current images, I need to take another step. I need to build the, the back warped image. So the back warped image is the image I construct by estimating the intensities of each pixel from X mapped onto the current image. So that is to build this image, this back warped image, I need to project every pixel X from my reference image onto the current image according to the, uh, the transformation parameters. And then I interpolate the intensity associated with, with each uh, map pixel. So uh, using the transformation function W, we can transform pixels from the reference coordinate uh, frame represented here by, uh, by x, um, and find their positions in the current image uh, represented here by, the, the, by x prime. And this according to uh, uh, this uh, function w of parameters x and p. And notice that w um, is actually uh, um, uh, is composed of two functions. So one function for the vertical and another function for the uh, horizontal uh, components of, uh, of x. So, for instance, in the case of a translational model, a simple, uh, uh, one of the most simple uh, transformation models, um, the function w is a simple sum. So we sum the, the, the horizontal and vertical components by two offsets. So, um, now that we, um, we have computed the back warped image, we can measure its similarity with the reference image T. So uh, again, we're uh, in this uh, lecture. We're talking about the. Uh, we're talking a lot about the SSD, and it's going to become clear why we chose this um, the, this similarity function as our reference uh, as our default similarity function um, in the next uh, in the next slides. But uh, but the SSD is a very simple uh, similarity measure. Well, a dissimilarity measure. Um, the um, the sum of square differences is basically the sum of all the intensity differences between the back warped and reference images squared. And uh, a very interesting feature about the SSD is that uh, it has this convex and smooth uh, shape around around the the point of alignment. And that is exactly the principle uh, that Lucas and Kanadi explore when they propose their uh, 81 paper on uh, on visual tracking. The optimal parameters, uh, the transformation parameters, uh, can be easily found looking at uh, by following the negative of the SSD function. So suppose, for instance, uh, we initialize tracking at a, a position distant from the uh, optimal uh, position. If we look at the shape of the uh, SSD uh, function, the landscape of the function, if we follow the negative of, uh, of its gradient, we are bound to find uh, a local minimum corresponding to uh, the best alignment. And uh, this same principle applies for uh, any uh, differentiable uh, transformation model. So it's uh, very efficient, especially in cases where when we have multiple uh, degrees of freedom. And, uh, and the SSD is especially popular because it has a very large convergence basin. So that means that I can be uh, relatively far from the uh, optimal point of alignment, but I can sti I'm still going to be attracted by this basin of, 